it for my hand cause it's held out for you my shoulders are small but you can cry on them too everything changes but one thing is true understand we'll always be more than a band just a while ago I thought I wouldn't travel again. I did nothing but rather lock myself in a room, contemplating of misery and left with nothing but to fill my life with resentment. Wonders will never cease. As we approach the end of these unprecedented times, we've embarked on our maiden journey back on the dirt roads of Africa, contemplating of only the ripples of the untold mysteries of the pearl filling our heads with shots of ecstatic memories. We are back on a trail, an epic escapade on the soils of human origin. Heading to a distant land, backdropped by high standing hills, hence the name Hilltop Gardens, with a lot to traverse and full of uncertainty, only to see wondrous beauty the earth has bestowed. This warms the recollections of man. <laughs> On the 12th of February, 2021, we left in Barara, a district that has been upgraded to city status. It's the origin of cattle keepers, dominated by the Wahima. It's the land of milk and honey, or popularly known as the land of milk and Wi-Fi. We then took on our hills to a blazing tale, one that would remind us of truly whom we are. Traveling and traversing is what we adore, and this time we headed further into the hills to a place called Vihari at Hilltop Gardens, its an unknown destination. I've never heard of this place, but with an escalating desire to traverse what lies beneath my eyes and in pursuit of the hidden potentials of the pearl, I definitely couldn't miss. The excursion was inaugurated by Empower Youth in Technology and in partnership with Kenya Safaris Limited, a recently birthed young travel company in Uganda. It was an entertaining ride and incredible in every way. Driving through the Ankoli land, we saw a lot changing for the better. Communities rejuvenating and people acclimatizing to the new normal. Everywhere we passed, only Nkole smiles guided and brightened our journey. I didn't know what to expect and this kept my adrenaline high. But as they say, variety is the spice of life. Ankole was a traditional Bantu kingdom that is located in the southwestern part of Uganda. It was ruled by a monarch known as the Omugabe. The kingdom was formally abolished in 1967 by the government of the late president, Apollo Milton Obote. And since then, the kingdom has not been restored officially. The people of Ankole are called Banyankole. We later arrived at our destination and had a scenic walk around the community. We interacted with the locals. It was a lovely place to unveil before your eyes. And there is the Eclipse Monument with a hidden story to disclose. 
But let's save that story for another time. The place was spectacular and a reward for the eyes. With the SOPs in place, we had lots of fun. A kind of thrill that I was missing for quite some time. It was really breathtaking and incredible in every way. Definitely worthy of a visit. It did feel royal. And here's a message from Sankala. Okay, so we're going to set up from here. We have our walking sticks here. Each one is going to pick one. We go. There's a stop over we are going to reach out. There we can have simple uh, one, one or two games anyway. If we must. After Sankala's message, we headed further into the hills for an epic adventure. The excursion was so massive and tiresome as well, since our bodies weren't used to such. It was a one-time experience you'll ever have. Everyone sings so amusing. The place does feature beautiful evocations of the pearl. We later repose. From here, we could see the endless expanse of Ankole land from atop the hill. We all had our highlights. This is a very beautiful place. It's a very good industry for people in tour and travel. This is what we had come for. The place has got an aura to exploit and with an untold story. No place remains so remarkable. We enjoyed different games, we played cards and some other games created by Andrew himself. We are standing at a uh, hilltop and uh, my background is I think a few homes from the Biharwe community and um, this is Empower Youth in Technology. So we are partnering with uh, Kenna in Safaris and uh, to hold this picnic we have here a team of young innovators that will go to hills of Biharwe. We arrived back to prepare to fill up the holes we had created in our stomachs for yummy stuff and do a little bit of post-production and empty memory cards. A locally prepared meal was served in Pogolo. This is matoke that is cooked with its peelings and some other delicious stuff was served. The food definitely left me speechless. And then we had an amazing entertainment from Melvin and Isofel, who seemed so good at dancing. But let's save that for another time and hear from the man himself. As Empower Youth in Technology, we are branding ourselves as a youth-friendly center. So we have all gathered here, first of all, to appreciate what it means to succeed beyond technology, at the same time to create
create that bond between us and the young people we support. At the end of the day, we have created a network in social where now young people are able to get contacts, are able to share experience, are able to talk to each other, are able to share knowledge. Health-wise, it is good. Then on top of that, there is entertainment, there is fun that comes with climbing a mountain like that. And I don't think we found challenges being young people. Our legs are still, our bones are strong. Line Safari is, is led by brilliant and, and interesting young people. And I believe with the zeal they have, they are bound to create something that all of us will enjoy. First of all, this whole experience, they have added value to it. They have, of course, there are some things we did to know, but because of many safaris, we are able to experience and understand what it means to connect technology and tourism. To me, I give it to them, and I believe these young people given a chance and support, and, and if they really get all that they want, they will build something that all of us will enjoy. And I really thank you so much. First of all, I think this now I will first of all appeal to people who are in charge of tourism. Ankara has a rich culture, from the way people behave, how they live, and all, and all we have as Ankara. Look at Lake Mburu, look at this place. No one knew this before the gentleman actually improved it. Look at our culture, look at how people behave, look at Bahima, look at what they do. There is a lot that should be told, but unfortunately we have not had so much of this. And that's why now organizations like Kananain Safaris are coming out. Because people, first of all, must appreciate why Angkor existed, the history, which we do not know. This has been a long trek, climbing uh, up the mountains, but I'm glad. Come on, I'm glad that I have uh, the kind nice safari guys to, to guide us along the trek and uh, AET for for this wonderful experience. You know. It's been a long time since I last trekked into the mountains, even when I come from uh, some of them. Okay. But yeah, the experience is cool and I'm feeling great. Yeah, yeah let's, let's do like a quick one. Eh? Yeah. Like, this is part of our episodes of the Untold Stories of the Park. Today we are, we are traversing Ankole region that is located in the southwestern part of Uganda, in the Bara district. This is basically the origin of the cattle keepers. And we are now to traverse more and learn of their historical background. This is part of the untold stories of the Angkole. It was quite sad that we were unable to capture the sun retire. And the thought that we were heading back home gave us an eternal note of sadness. No one wanted to leave, but it was suddenly time to say goodbye. At around 30 minutes past 8 p.m., we had arrived back in our hometown, Barara City. 